All right, so let's look at some problems for heat engines. How about this one? Heat's transferred to a heat engine from a furnace at a rate of 80 megawatts. Uh, if the rate of waste heat rejection to a nearby river is 50 megawatts, determine the net power output and thermal efficiency for this heat engine. Okay, so uh, this is power. Uh, so instead of Qs, it's kind of a Q dot. Uh, but let's kind of define what, what is this problem statement giving us? What is that 80 megawatts? What is that? That's the heat from a furnace. That is the Q H, or in this case, Q dot H. This is the rejected Q dot L. So if Q dot H is this, Q dot L is that, what, what, what can we find? Well, I know that the network is QH minus QL. Uh, so yeah, so this would be 80 megawatts minus 50 megawatts. 30 megawatts would be the net um, power output, right? The net power output that we can get. Then how about thermal efficiency? I've got a couple of equations, either W net over Q. H or 1 minus QL over QH and just like just like our energy these could all be dotted these could all be power equations these could all be total equations uh, these might all be specific this is power uh, so e either one of these would give us the same thermal efficiency uh, the net work is 30 megawatts the QH is 80 so 0.37 Five. If we had done this, let's see, 50 over 80 still would have gotten uh, 0.375. So, so 0.375 or 37.5% is the thermal efficiency of that heat engine. So these aren't too uh, difficult. Uh, let's look at the next one. It actually does get a little difficult. Let me look at this. Uh, first, all right, so we've got a car engine uh, that has a power output of 65 horsepower, has a thermal efficiency of 24%. Determine the fuel consumption rate of this car if the fuel has a heating value of 19,000 BTUs per pound mass. That is, 19,000 BTUs of energy is released for every pound mass of fuel burned. So, this, some of this is really just a unit. Uh, problem figuring out what we're given what we're trying to find let me figure it out as well all right so fuel consumption rate how much fuel is getting consumed per time uh, that's really a mass flow rate an m dot right m dot its units might be something like pound mass per second or in this case we're going to do pound mass per hour. So let's let's say that we were told, hey, your units that I'm, I'm looking for are pound mass per hour. So that's the M dot. Uh, it has a heating value, let's call this, I don't know, HV, HV, heating value of 19,000 BTU per pound mass. Uh, we want to know that is 19,000 BTUs for every pound mass of fuel burn okay not sure where to start let's start by and you know if, with with um engineering with problem solving when anytime i don't know where to start i go back to give and find solution we don't really do that in this class in every other class i teach that's how we format our homework we write given find solution so let me just take what are we given we're given a heating value of 19,000. BTU per pound mass. Uh, what are we given? We're given a, a power output. That is going to be our work net. Work net that we're getting out 65 horsepower. Thermal efficiency, eta of 0.24 or 24%. Okay, so that's what we are given. Uh, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the M dot. Uh, and units of pound mass per hour. Okay, what can we do? What, what equations do we have? What are we given? What can we solve for? 
Uh, if I look at some of the equations that we derive with efficiency work out, hey, how about this one? Uh, efficiency is work net over QH. All right, because I've got efficiency work net 0.24 equals 65 horsepower over QH. So QH is going to be 270.83 horsepower. All right, that is my QN. That's the Q that I'm getting from the fuel uh, burned. All right, that's the Q, Q sorry, that I'm getting from my fuel burn. But it's in horsepower. But it's in horsepower. Uh, you know, I've got this heating value, uh, BTU per pound mass. Um, all right. If we look at our uh, unit conversion sheet, 270. Uh, what can I convert horsepower to? Let me see if I can find that. So our uh, conversion factors, horsepower. I've got some stuff uh, right here. Uh, I can convert horsepower to BTUs per hour. All right, I think that's a good first step. Then maybe I can figure out how many you know BTUs per pound mass. Things like that. So go back to our notes here. Uh, let me just convert horsepower to BTU per hour. It was 2545. All right. So the QN, the Q that I'm getting from the hot fuel of the car um, is. 689,270 BTUs per hour. So I'm getting that much BTUs per hour, but I want to know how many pounds per hour I'm using, right? I want to know how many pounds per hour I'm using. If I've got 68, 689,270 BTUs per hour, but I kind of want pounds per hour. That's where our heating value is. That's where we're kind of converting BTUs per pound mass. How many BTUs are in a pound mass or how many pound mass, you know, will give me uh, BTUs. Look at these units here. BTU per pound mass. So this is 19,000. So dividing it by 19,000 gives me pound mass per hour. That, that's it. And that's it. Let me uh, get this. 36.3 pound mass per hour. Okay, so let's think about that. Let's figure out what we just did right there. Uh, we took our heat transfer from horsepower to BTUs per hour. How much energy per hour? But we didn't want to know how much energy per hour. We wanted to know how much fuel per hour. How can we convert fuel to energy? That's the heating value. That, that tells us how much energy we get per fuel. Uh, and so the units kind of helped me out there, told me I need to divide it by the heating value to kind of convert my energy per hour to mass per hour. Okay, so that's how we got this 36.3. So, yeah, man, units are important. Units will help you help your way through there um, to get uh, to get the answer that you're looking for. Really the only equation we used here was that the efficiency is was work net over Q dot. We just had to figure out. Uh, they told me the efficiency, they told me the work net, and I, it's asking for the fuel, the, how much, how many pounds of fuel we go through per hour. How many pounds of fuel we go through per unit time. Okay.